it on you. <laughs> I don't like that. that. My name is Robert Bertrand and this is my story. Try to be someone that someone could look up to or like someone wants to hire or, or someone wants to be around with or someone to look up to. It says this is a good fit with Rob because we're more open to letting people lead their own lives instead of trying to tell them what's best because that's what we think is best for them. Um, we let them explore their personalities and let them become who they are. It's interesting to watch Robert as he's really grown in the last couple of years and, and gained his own voice. It's been an interesting evolution to watch. Rob likes to spend his time, usually most of it is in his room playing music. He'll play his drums, he'll play his guitar, he'll sing. He sings a lot. One, two, three. a Saturday afternoon talent show that we had put on. Robert was there and did some uh, original stuff with uh, his uh, support person, Matt. And I had heard Robert in the past just doing some stuff on his own, and it was good, but it wasn't always very coherent. And he got up and started doing some very, very good original music with Matt supporting him. And the interesting thing was how Matt worked in the background so that Robert was really the, the person on stage and just how he guided him and was and was and really brought the best out in Robert. Robert, um, and there's just a lot of musicians like this, he makes songs up out of thin air, you know, uh, he, 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 uh, he improvises, you know, all musicians improvise. We started playing together, I added just a little more structure, which he really likes. I need structure. I don't know how far we're going to go with that, but you know, enjoy it while it lasts. Oh my gosh, this guy is actually really putting himself out there and he's clear of mind and really has an ability to articulate what he's feeling. This is really cool. And what music does for Robert is it amplifies who Robert is. I found this piece that I wrote down and I shared it with everybody. I was like, you know, listen, this guy, when he's up there singing, he's not just, you know, rambling on. He's actually putting himself out there and it's incredible. It's what we're all about. He had a song that was called Mega Mega Fail about reaching out and coming to the point where he gets frustrated that people are not reaching back. He says, well, I open my eyes. How can you see if you cannot even know hello? Spirit fall on me, singing on the corner south where no one knows and no one cared. Look, I'm crying out to you because I don't know how, I don't know when I'll get back again. <laughs> and so through this mishmash of, of discordant, out of tune guitar, and, and this quiet um, soul, all of a sudden, I heard, wow, something that moved me. We helped Robert find his place in the community. The main thing that we did was we listened to him and really taken seriously what he wanted. And I don't think he's always been taken seriously. Giving him a good place to live, He's got a degree of independence and he lives in an apartment with a roommate. We've also had some very good staff supports, whether it's our ministry consultant helping him find a, a church community that, that he feels comfortable with, or a staff person who's, who's uh, committed to working with him around his music, or just people that are willing to listen when he's having some difficult times in his life. to work with you because you're open to trying things. You ask me some really good questions and you're always coming up with really good ideas. Mm -hmm. He's had great support from his home staff and from here because we see what a valuable person he is and try to give him that self-confidence. He's good on the computer. He's really motivated. When he decides he wants to do something, he's going to get it done. He puts his goals out there and he works steadily right toward those goals. He does a pretty complicated job of collating things that need to be sent out for a large healthcare organization. They're thrilled to have him there. 
Rob has been working in my department for over a year. I really think he likes his co-workers. He knows where to get his stuff, get his timesheet. He's very independent in this environment. They have to be very precise. It's a very detailed job. Rob is very focused on the work he's doing and he feels good about the work he's doing. Rob enjoys getting his work done and being able to see, have a sense of accomplishment by the end of the day. And he doesn't mind letting you know. He'll say, I had a good job today, didn't I do good? Rob is just a joy. He's missed when he's not here. He has a presence. Robert's spiritual journey is in a neat place because of how he is willing to engage it. Like he's very evident that it's a, a process that he's kind of working on it, it seems to me. Like he knows that um, his spirituality is something that's really important to him and he knows how to sort of start to engage God and how to connect with God, that that's something important that he really wants to do. Prayer is important because we talk to God. And that's just like you talk to someone on the phone, you know? You gotta listen and then you gotta talk. And you listen, you know, maybe he doesn't talk to you the way a human being would talk to you. He doesn't talk to you with a big rushing voice of thunder. You know, that's not what I think God is. He is a teaching instrument that God uses to help people to learn patience, to learn love, to practice acceptance. Too often, we don't have those opportunities and those people in our lives. Well, we need more voices. When we work together, we're more powerful. We're more powerful. And people actually listen to us. I think AIM does for Robert, it gives him confidence to speak out um, for himself and others. It gives him a chance to talk about what does bother him. You know, it gives him an opportunity to voice his opinions and feel like he will be listened to. Robert is one of our founding members of AIM. Um, he came to the very first meeting, was one of the most vocal people. You have such insight and just an amazing ability to share your experiences and really be compassionate for, for not just people with disabilities, but for all people. Overcoming fear is hard. It wasn't easy for me. Sometimes I had the jitters. Sometimes I was nervous. But I'm hoping that there'll be someone out there that hears this, will understand that we're just people like them that go through hard times. I bleed, that I breathe, that I hurt, that I feel. I don't care if you are white, black, anything, that we are normal. We're all human beings. We're all different, but we need to be treated with respect. Isn't that what the whole Bethesda thing is about? Dignity, respect. Mm -hmm.